My name is Carl Battens. I'm a computational scientist at the Naval Research Lab, and for nearly 17 years I've been in charge of NASA's SunGrazer project. The SunGrazer project is a citizen science project that allows anyone in the world to discover new comets that are seen in images recorded by the joint ESA-NASA SOHO satellite. Recently, the project has reached a very special milestone. SOHO has found 4,000 previously unknown comets in nearly 25 years. So I want to share with you my favorite comets that SOHO has discovered. These were a pair of bright comets, both members of what's known as the Kreutz group, which is a very large family of comets that all follow the same path in space. Unfortunately, unlike nearly all of SOHO's comets, these guys were completely vaporized by the sun's radiation. Most of SOHO's comets are what we call sun grazers, which means they follow an orbit that almost grazes the surface of the sun. But we've also discovered a lot of comets that stay just a bit further away from the sun, and, unlike sun grazers, manage to at least partially survive passing by the sun. This comet, SOHO's 422nd discovery, was found back in 2002. Here we see it swinging around the sun at a seemingly safe distance. Unfortunately, it kind of looks to me like this comet may have uh, turned entirely towards dust towards the end of the movie. It, it can be hard to know the exact fates of comets like this because they're often impossible to locate from Earth because they're so close to the sun. One of the great things about SOHO's comet discoveries is they also teach us things about the sun. Here we see what looks like a, a typical bright sun grazer racing through the LASCO cameras and in this case disappearing behind LASCO's solid occulting disk. And normally, this is the last we see of them. But this comet, to our absolute astonishment, was also visible in images that were recorded by NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, which looks at the sun's million degree atmosphere in extreme ultraviolet light. This was the first time anyone had ever seen something like this. We were completely blown away by this result. And we can use comets like this, almost like remote probes. They allow us to learn about the environment close to the sun by watching how the comet is reacting within that really extreme environment. Finally, this is certainly not the biggest or brightest comet SOHO has ever found, but for me, it's absolutely one of the most important. This is SOHO's 4,000th comet discovery. That's a truly remarkable milestone for this mission to reach, particularly as it was never designed to look at or discover comets. This milestone is also a huge testament to the, the NASA and ESA scientists and engineers and support teams that have kept SOHO running so well all of these years. And of course, probably most of all, it's a testament to the army of citizen scientists who have contributed so much free time to scouring the SOHO images and, and helping us realize all of this incredible science that we've gained so far. Here's hoping for another 4,000 comments.